Boyfriend 25M pressured me on 23F having abortion, cheated on me while I was pregnant, a year later he says he is losing feelings because he can't forgive me for the abortion. How do I save the relationship? This is a throwaway account because my main one has posts that might give away who I am. I posted this before but it was deleted before I got to read all the comments. I promise you this is not a fake post, everything I wrote in it is real. In struggling a lot at the moment and would like advice because I don't have many friends and am lonely so reddit people please help. Me 23F and my boyfriend 25M have been dating for almost 2 years now. Long story short about this time last year I accidentally got pregnant. I was on the pill but had a stomach bug and out stupid heads didn't think that the pill becomes useless if I vomit doctor never mentioned it either. Story 1 I have some health problems and I've been told when I was younger that I might never be able to have kids or it will be very difficult. So because of this I wanted to keep the baby because I saw it as maybe my one chance to ever have a child. Both of us also work full time, I have my own place while he lives with his parents. I also gave him the option of me having it alone me moving with the baby thousands of miles away to my family and him not having to ever get involved, he refused. He said abortion or I will ruin his life and that he'll never be happy with me if I keep the baby. Then he went on with his rules of how life will be if I keep the baby live together even though he told me we won't be a couple and his family raising the kid in his religion without me having a say in any of it. Oh cherry on top he also cheated on me, was on tinder next to his pregnant girlfriend and said he was lonely. After the abortion he told me I wish I pressured you into having the abortion sooner. Somehow I forgave him and we stayed together, I blamed myself for not knowing about the vomiting thing and tried to be the best girlfriend and not think about what he did. However a year later he says he loves me but his feelings for me haven't been the same since the abortion because he can't get over it. This is where I'm confused. He was the one who treated me badly, not me. In the meantime he also broke up with me once saying Hess too depressed to be in a relationship. Then he came to see me every single day saying Hess suicidal and when Hess at mine he doesn't feel like killing himself. It was horrible because he broke up with me, I was heartbroken and I just wanted to get over him but I felt the pressure of keeping him from killing himself. While he was at mine, after he broke up with me, I caught him on Tinder, Bumble and Hinge again. My best friend made a fake account and he told the fake account I want a relationship, someone to blow my mind when the reason of the breakup was that a relationship was too much pressure on him. He lied to me. I have him the choice of me or the dating apps. He chose me and said he loves me and I make him happy. This was end of May this year. Plus every time he does something wrong he just says sorry my bad and I'm supposed to just forgive him whereas when I do something wrong I'm very apologetic, I try to do things for him to make it better massages, cook his favorite food, watch his favorite show, etc but he always makes me look like the bad one and says things like I'm fed up, you made me cry at work. Example. Saturday we were both off which never happens so we had a deal that when we're both off we don't make other plans and do something together. He made plans with his friends and swore to me that he didn't know I was off, when I told him all week that I was off. So of course it upset me, he started getting all angry saying that I'm never happy and that I want to control him by not allowing him to go out with his friends. Which is definitely not the case, he goes out most weeks and I never say anything, I just wanted to spend the day with him. He said that he is fed up of me because of the argument about him going out with his friends and that I have until the end of the week to make things better or hess out because he won't make any effort anymore. 
what can I do to make things better, besides him I have no one but my dog. I am in a foreign country with no family here. I am incredibly lonely and part of the reason why I can't let this go is the fear of loneliness. TL, doctor had an abortion a year ago. Boyfriend still can't forgive me even though he pressured me into having an abortion I didn't want, showed signs that Hess controlling and cheated on me while I was pregnant with his child. How to make things better, Redditor's reactions, Redditor 4, oh, why would you want to, Redditor 5, what do you mean how do I save the relationship, what's the matter with you? Get out of there now, Redditor 6. Why do you keep posting this? Not getting the answer you want. Redditor 7, you don't. This guy is going to be s for the rest of his life. Don't worry, you will be dumped really soon, so you won't have to be with him too much longer. The question is, will you be in the streets when he dumps you, or will you have already made a plan to get to your home country, or wherever, and find yourself respect, please? No this is happening, and it should, you are being abused, and you need to get away, right now. Time to adult now, you are in a bad situation, and it's getting worse. You need to act soon. Story 2 I 28 am currently getting a divorce from my 30f wife who cheated on me for years. Not sure what to do now or what is even correct. I'll start from the beginning as it might help with my mental emotions at the moment. My soon-to-be ex-wife we are currently going through mediation divorce since we agree on everything and it's way cheaper and less of a headache, and I met over a decade ago going to keep it vague for privacy reasons. We basically grew up together through high school and college and eventually got married. It would have been four years here shortly. But about two years ago she cheated on me with someone she met a few months prior. After I found out there was some guilt from her, but then we started therapy and of course she went defensive claiming that I ignored her and she wasn't happy. I tried so hard to make that work, but we decided to take a break on therapy. Fast forward and COVID hits so we are stuck at home. Surprisingly we actually got really close again and she wasn't talking with this person anymore, however, a few months later well she started talking to him again and sleeping with him again without me knowing. After I found out again, we started individual therapy and another therapist. During the time I found out she also happened to then inform me even though I asked her almost a year ago when I first found out if there was anyone else and she said no she told me that 8 years ago she went to third base with a dude in college because we were in a rough patch I guess and then made out with someone before we got engaged and then another person after we got engaged. Seriously WTF? Anyways fast forward to February of this year 6 months of therapy at this point, I find out she started seeing him again, and I demanded she tell our marriage therapist. Our therapist told us from the start she doesn't tolerate lying so she dropped us. We decided to separate, but we lived under the same roof just two different rooms since she couldn't afford her own place let alone the house and I refused to move in with my folks as I didn't see this being my fault and this is on her. Fast forward to June and she started getting mad at the guy as she informed him I guess in a fight that he only had her around as a duck buddy some backstory real quick. This guy is divorced and has two kids and his brother lives with him. He even told us both that he is not in the wrong even when he made out with my soon-to-be ex-wife in my own home while I was making dinner and not looking because she came to him. So she starts flirting with the brother. At this point it's beyond clear she just wants attention. I'm not going to get into her personal stuff because well I'm better than that, but I decided then in June we're done and we're getting a divorce. I moved back home and said I will only pay for half the mortgage and all utilities etc are on you while we sell the house. 
My question is now that that long back story is out of the way, how the hell do I mentally move on? I'm still seeing my therapist and honestly they're fantastic and extremely helpful. I've had friends tell me that don't go dating again trust me I can't. I have way too many trust issues right now and to just have fun. For me it's not easy. She was basically the only person I ever really dated and the first and only person I've done anything with. Dating hookup apps weren't even a thing when we started. Hell the app store wasn't even a thing yet. So it's extremely overwhelming. I'm not a bar guy either, but I do like to be social. I also enjoy the idea of working remote now because of COVID and I get to work out at the gym more freely to keep my mind busy and play video games with friends. TL, DRA tad over a decade of a relationship tarnished by my ex-wife who cheated on me throughout the years secretly and I have no idea how to move on or what is even right in terms of either dating again or hooking up or anything. I miss the partnership, but I also know I can't mentally emotionally get close right now. I also want to get out and have fun, but I've never been that kind of guy so I'm not really sure what to do. Redditor's reactions, Redditor 1, that was a lot to unpack. You need time to be on your own, and with that time you'll also heal from your relationship. She cheated on you multiple times she is so wrong for that. Do things that either make you happy or that you've wanted to try but couldn't for whatever reason. You'll be fine bro, millions of people are single and very happy. Redditor 2, just go out and have fun. Don't look for s time or relationships or any of that. Just hang out and do stuff with your buddies. Make new friends. Redditor 3, damn. That's really tough my man. Keep up with therapy and really take the time to work on yourself. Don't feel obligated to jump into something new right away. Redditor 4, man, it sucks, but you dodge a bullet, no kids, amicable divorce. I mean you could have been petty and dragged her through the mud and you didn't. My advice? Just focus on yourself. Get into a better place physically, emotionally and mentally, find some new hobbies, make some new friends, explore life outside of this huge relationship that just ended. Over time the wounds will heal and this will just be a SED memory.